tennis is finally here with the men's tournament kicking off today. The women's tournament starts tomorrow, all leading up to the final four in downtown Minneapolis. Adam Duxter shares the excitement around the big dance and the impact it could have on the Twin Cities. And you want to do another? The mix of St. Patrick's Day and March Madness have spirits at Brit's Pub right in more ways than one. We've been needing this for a long time now, so hopefully this is just the start of things to come. General Manager Shane Higgins has seen the madness March brings firsthand. That was a crazy, crazy week. When the men's Final Four came downtown in 2019. I think we had our busiest day ever at the pub in, you know, in 31 years. And now... The Stanford Cardinal National Champions! It's the women's turn for tourney time in Minneapolis. This has become a labor of love for me. Wendy Blackshaw not only helped make it happen, but is now behind every extra event that will make the women's Final Four so special. And a number of those free events, from Tourney Town to a free concert, even a parade event, will all be here at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Something Blackshaw says will bring in tens of thousands of people with an economic benefit in the tens of millions. They're going to sleep in our hotels. They're going to eat in our restaurants. They're going to shop in our retail. We're going to bring people back downtown, back to our region. And well, it will certainly be madness. Higgins says it's the kind he welcomes with open arms and a cold drink. For Minneapolis, after uh, these troublesome two years, it's, it's wonderful for the, the city to have it, and we're certainly looking forward to it. In Minneapolis, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. And you can find a full calendar of events happening around the women's Final Four by visiting WCCO.com.